Good morning from north of Globe, just off of Highway 60. And here's a look at Apache Peaks. So we're parked a little ways northeast of the peak. We're gonna hike the dirt road as far as we can and then make our way off trail up to the summit. So Apache Peaks is one of the Arizona 2000 foot prominence peaks. Not sure where it ranks. The elevation up there is around 6,900. And this is the last closest peak to my place that I haven't yet done. So we shouldn't have too much distance. I'd say no more than four miles up to the summit. And it should be about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. We're just at a mile in right now. There's a little gate right here. All right, that's the direction we came from. We're gonna leave the road behind now. So we're 1.73 miles in from where we parked. And we didn't see any good options earlier in terms of going off trail. The vegetation just looked too thick. So we're gonna head up this way and hopefully be able to pick out a relatively less vegetated path up to the summit. So we're pretty sure that point in the middle now is the summit. We should have about 700 feet of elevation gain to go and probably less than a mile, I would say. It's not too much further. All right, summit of Apache Peaks, north of Globe, one of the Arizona 2000 foot prominence peaks. Elevation here is 6940. We made it up in about two hours and 20 minutes. We're about 10 minutes into our stay up here. I'm gonna give ourselves another maybe 20 to 30 minutes. This is the panorama. I'm gonna get some close ups of some more of the notable mountains. There's the Pinal Mountains there, Pinal Peak and Signal Peak, south of Globe. So in the foreground is Mount Turnbull, south of San Carlos Lake. And then the bigger mountain behind it is Mount Graham, one of the ultra prominent peaks of the lower 48. And then the furthest one back is Mount Lemon, north of Tucson, and another one of the uh, ultra prominent peaks of the lower 48. All right, there we have the four peaks towering above Roosevelt Lake. Mount Ord, and then Mazatzal Peak. And then over here is Aztec Peak. Another one of the prominent peaks of Arizona, 2,000 foot. Here's a look at Mount Baldy. So we summited that in July. We hiked with our friend Mike from RV Fishing Adventures. He invited us up there, really beautiful. It's actually the clearest view that we've seen of it, probably ever. 
from a distance. There's still haze further out. Some of the directions seem clearer than others, but it's still kind of hazier overall further away. But these aren't bad from up here for sure. Really nice. It's amazing how time flies, especially on top of a summit. We've been here for over probably 40 minutes almost, and it seems like we've been up here about 10. But all good things have to come to an end. It's time to start making our way back down. We seem to be making pretty good progress on the way down. We're gonna run into thicker vegetation lower down, but up here it's not quite as bad. Here's a look back at the summit of Apache Peaks. So it's the one on the right right in the center of the shot now, that is the true summit. And then that southern point there is 30 feet lower than the true summit. Well, after fighting through that nonsense, we are hopefully Gonna be back to a little bit more of a clear section before we hit the road. There's a massive old tree right here. I think it's a juniper. And I think it's gonna clear up a little bit more from here on out. All right, there's the old road right there. So we're almost back and then it should be about a 1.7 mile walk back to where we parked. We just came down right over there and we went up right over here. That was pretty good. All right, here's one last look at Apache Peaks. We made it back. It ended up being a little bit over eight miles and about five hours with 2,300 feet of elevation gain from here. We definitely could have driven further. We wanted to make sure we got at least 2,000 feet of elevation gain there, but you can actually, you could probably drive the full way to where we went off trail with no problems, even, even probably on a two-wheel drive vehicle. All right, so signing off from just north of Globe, Arizona, another one of the 2,000-foot Arizona prominence peaks completed. Hopefully we'll be back at it again within the next couple of weeks, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.